So when I think about where I draw most of my like support and strength, it really comes from my community, Métis and Jamaican, so from those communities, um, from my family, of course. Um, but then also from like the sector community that I've been able to establish with really cool young leaders in energy and climate action. Dancy, bonjour. Hello, my name is Larissa Crawford and I'm an Indigenous and anti-racist researcher. I had the opportunity to work at the Aboriginal Centre. I had the opportunity to engage with a research project that actually looked at Black and Indigenous identities, which was the first time I actually even ever met anyone else who was Black Indigenous. And I think York has really provided me with the most influential mentors I've had in my life. To see someone who looks like me doing the same kind of work that I'm aspiring to do, really had a profound impact on my confidence in pursuing a career. Some of my most cherished Indigenous mentors really shaped um, my understanding of being Indigenous in the institution, being Indigenous in colonial spaces. Seeing my mentors wear their natural hair out and wearing their beads and their moccasins to professional spaces. And I think that that's really important. Because I was at a, a ceremony and it was, it was told to me by an Anishinaabe woman to approach mentorship relationships by first figuring out what you can do for them. And when I started offering before asking anything, that's when I started establishing the most meaningful long-term mentorship relationships that I got. At any conference I go to, if I'm meeting someone powerful, if I'm meeting someone that I know has the resources to change the things that I need to have change, that my communities need to have change, the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out what I can do for them. In working in government especially, when I was delivering training, if I ever let it slip, oh yeah, I'm, I'm 24, and, or when I was 21, and I had my daughter, and they do the math, I'd lose some credibility with them, actually. And then I would have to go over my list of accomplishments, or I'd speak to some of my mentorship, and once I drop some of my mentors' names, actually, that gives me credibility. I mean, it is frustrating, because I never have seen a man lose credibility because of his age in a space like that. I think it's a fine balance of knowing when to, when to convince and change mindsets and when enough is enough and when you have to preserve yourself.